So it looks like the dog days of summer are going to start with a epic thunderstorm. Oh let, me, let me walk out here. Good morning, beautiful people. It is a fine overcast day. Maybe we can get some rain later today. First thing this morning, I'm gonna get out here and me and a couple of the boys are gonna harvest some corn. Pretty sure this video is gonna be going up July 4th. So, happy Independence Day to all of our American viewers. I'm sure that tomorrow, for us, today for you guys, everybody's gonna be having some fun, lighting off some fireworks and having barbecues and stuff like that. And that's partially what I'm doing today. So we are getting together with our friends. We're gonna have a little, little barbecue tomorrow, maybe light off some fun. And we're talking about what we're gonna eat. And I was like, ooh, we've got corn. Why don't we bring some corn? We've been, I think we've eaten it a couple times since it's started getting ripe. And the thing about corn is when you have a whole bunch of corn like this, once it's ripe, it's all ripe. So we're gonna get out here today. We're gonna harvest a whole bunch of corn. We're gonna put some in the fridge. Might can some. I don't know if Meg's got that on her to-do list. Yeah. What? Oh, did you pick one? Okay, you gotta bend it down. Bend it down and rip it off. All right, you got a nice one. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna do this. We are in that time of year where not too much after 12 o'clock, it is hot and humid and with it being overcast today it's really humid today so we're gonna get in here we're gonna harvest us some corn for uh, eating tomorrow uh, we might pick some extra for saving I don't know uh, I don't think we're gonna pick all of it and can it today we've got too much stuff to do you know planning for our get-together tomorrow so we're gonna get picking before the the heat really cranks up <laughs> We got our corn. I think we're gonna go shuck some of it and we'll get it in the fridge ready for tomorrow. We can take it, I don't know if we'll cook it ahead of time or take it over there and cook it. Either way, that was, that was a lot quicker than I was expecting. I figured a little update. So the other day, uh, this weekend, uh, me and Meg got out here and planted a whole bunch of squash. Last you guys saw, last week I tilled and made all these mounds um, for planting squash. This is our squash patch. We threw down some weed barrier. Uh, it worked for our squash last year, it really keeps the weeds down we're pretty happy with it got everything ready got everything planted and uh, looks like I need to drag a hose over here everything's looking pretty rough it's been so hot and we haven't had any rain in oh probably a good solid week any any measurable rain we've gotten a few showers here and there but nothing enough to even knock the dust down uh, it's just that's how it is supposedly they say today the third is the start of the dog days of summer and whatever the weather is like on the third that's how the rest of your dog days of summer are going to be last year we had an epic thunderstorm on the start of the dog days of summer and it followed through the rest i think it ends in august it's like august 11th yeah. um, so the third of july to august 11th and uh Last year, that saying, that little, I guess it's a superstition, it proved to be pretty accurate because the rest of that time, the dog days of summer, it was a rainy, rainy time. 
it's pretty pretty incredible how much water we got in July last year so we'll see I'm hoping we get a little bit of rain today we could use it all right I guess I'm gonna take all these corn I'm just gonna put them in our uh, fridge in the shed that'll be good we can shuck it when uh, Meg gets home. She's out. She was running some errands this morning. I don't want to overwhelm her and be like, hey, I picked all this corn that now we have to process. It can it can hang around in its, uh, in its unshucked state. Do you ever take a break? Um, sometimes. <laughs> Got home from the store, sat down, took a small break, yeah. and now you're cooking food again. Yeah. So, uh, like, I was over here eating a sandwich real quick and um, saw you, like, messing with these chickens. And they look really good, even though they're raw. I mean, just cake them with seasoning. Oh, yeah. And you're going to sit for about an hour or so and soak up all that good seasoning. And I'll get them in the roaster for dinner. That sounds amazing. All right. So, because I need to clean out the, uh, the brooder in here in the bathroom where we have our i guess they're a week old hatched chicks is where they currently are and they are and they're like what's going on so we're going to haul them out put them outside this will be the first time they've been outside uh ever in you know the long week that they've been alive <laughs> so we're going to put them outside and uh let them enjoy some grass and some fresh air this one's like uh the brown one? Yeah. Yeah, he's super tame. I'm pretty sure it's a rooster. Pretty sure about half of these are roosters. Get down, buggy. He's like, what on earth is going on here? They absolutely have no idea what to think. There you go, guys. It's always kind of entertaining to uh, put chicks out. We like to put them, we can see them right here from the house and just watch them and they'll be freaked out for 20 minutes. And all of a sudden they'll realize they have room to jump around and do stuff. And it's just like mayhem after that. And then they come to really enjoy being outside. So it looks like the dog days of summer are going to start with a epic thunderstorm. Oh let, me, let me walk out here. We'll see. We'll see. I hope it hits us. We, uh, we could use, I mean, honestly, like, yeah. like it's getting dusty around here. All right, don't come inside. Oh. It's like cracking. Mom says, come inside. Anybody who has ever been in a powerful electric storm, there's some weird stuff that happens right as lightning strikes. We'll be in the house, and it sounds like someone throws a handful of gravel at the house. Mm -hmm. The kids call it a tinker, because you hear like tink to tink, and then lightning will strike somewhere around here, usually up on the hill that's above us, but it's weird, like your hair stands on end, and it sounds like someone threw a rock on your yeah, roof. You just yeah. hear like a tink, tink, boom. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of kind of scary. First few drops. And it is rumbly. So I guess we know what kind of summer we're going to have. <laughs> uh, coming from the desert, uh, where rain in July is almost completely unheard of. Yeah. I'll take it. It's, it's a nice change. Let's see if I can catch any of this lightning. There's some crazy lightning. Oh, there's one.
Can I turn this off? Yeah. I think what's funny is this storm is, like, this is a decent thunderstorm, but it's nowhere near the thunderstorm we had last year on the 3rd. No, it's not. That one, we watched for An hour. hours. Yeah, it was I'm, I mean, it was it was so much rain. All of these these drainage paths, the swales, they were overflowing their banks because there was so much water. Like yeah. it was an epic storm. And this time, it's just water in the garden. Yeah. I mean, so far so good. I think there's some more uh, red on the radar coming our way, but we'll see. We'll see. This is a uh, still a good show. Starting to get puddles. That was the spot in the driveway I just kicked the dust just a few minutes ago. Buggy, I think we're gonna have to close the door. Yeah, that's like, a, I don't know, marble-sized hail? There's some actually pretty big-sized hail dropping. Well, that hail was short-lived. Got our, our rivers flown again. Oh, man. Swing blew down right. again. It does that every storm. We will rebuild. <laughs> Looks like we're through the worst of it. So has the humidity gone up or what? <laughs> Look at those curls. Your hair does what my hair does. The humidity goes up and the curls happen. Yep. Okay, well there's some blue sky peeking through. And then basically, that's the next one coming. That looks like a whole bunch of rain coming is what that looks like. I think so. The sun's starting to come out and the roosters are all starting to crow again. Yeah, I guess that's it. I guess I should close up the doors and windows. It's going to be hot. It's going to get real hot. In fact, goodbye, fresh air. Yeah. I'm going to hit something. Well, I can step out here with the camera for a second. Hi. Bright sun. It's sprinkling. Ooh. Yes, it is. Yeah, it's sprinkling. I'm going to have to put the camera away. But <laughs> Nice little light. Light sprinkle. It looks like, for the most part, we are done. It is basically past us. That was a pretty good little thunderstorm. It was enough to water everything real good. It was great. Uh, I saw the squash patch out there it was all perked up. Good. Like, amazingly so. And we were picking corn. It was like, man, I got to drag a hose over here. Yeah. But we got some rain. Yeah. I'm gonna put the camera away. So it only sprinkled a little bit more. I probably could have brought the camera. But we did some harvesting. We got some green beans, enough for dinner. A random onion that uh, we just grabbed it. And one cucumber. First cucumber of the season. Not that I like cucumbers, but it is kind of cool to, anything you harvest out of the garden is kind of cool. Uh, and we are gonna have so many more green beans in the next couple days. It's like unbelievable. So. We, uh, we just went through real quick and picked up enough that we could have some with dinner. Uh, and I guess Meg will cook those up and we'll have some dinner. So this is what happens when you have teenage boys at home. <laughs> it just looks funny you scrubbing the squash with a goofy face. So this is a volunteer yellow squash that came out. And it's one single plant. It's just one plant and it is like bound and determined to be the most productive squash plant out there. Oh my man. It's doing great. Are you it's doing not. your cheesy, cheesy squash? No, I'm not gonna make casserole. I was just gonna saute it with that onion. That onion that we picked. <laughs> Sounds so, good. Just a little bit. It's a pretty good haul for our first little bit of green beans. For just walking by the green beans yeah. and going, hey, there's green beans. They're ready. Help me snap green beans real quick. Yeah, I can help. Okay. This uh, is a lot of squash for such a little pan. This is gonna make it work. It will be fine. All right. There we 
there's a bowl of green beans. Uh, it's kind of skimpy, but that's oh. enough for us for dinner. Really? You know, there might be one or two of the kids that are like, eh, yeah, green beans, whatever. I don't know, most of our kids are yeah, like, yeah. heck yeah, green beans. Yeah, everybody loves, especially these. They're so good straight out of the garden. Mm -hmm. uh, like the sugar content of these, so oh, so good. Ooh, those squash are looking good too. Are looking good? <laughs> what do you need? Garlic or that thing? Yep. Fresh garlic straight out of our garden. Yes, sir. These are all of the use immediately yeah. cloves. This is one of the only unitaskers allowed in the kitchen. I know. Still silly using it too, but it does make the job quite a bit faster. What was nice about this fresh garlic is it's so juicy. Like you can see juice dripping. Oh yeah, that. just juice dripping. And it just permeates everything. It's delicious. <laughs> if you've never gotten to cook with like fresh oh. from the garden garlic, it is a true pleasure. So good. Know, right? That smells amazing. That smells. So that good. smells so good. That garlic is so strong right now. Parsley. Parsley. Fresh basil from the Fresh garden. Basil that needs to be washed. Uh, we were out there walking around and I saw that it was trying to go to seed, so I was like, nope. Pinched off all the tops and then kind of trimmed it up a little bit. So I got some extra basil here. Parsley and basil? What, what are you, what's that going in? Uh, I'm going to make a, like a chimichurri type Ooh. thing to go on the chicken. That sounds great. I'm gonna need more garlic. There well, will be no vampires tonight. Vampires wouldn't dare <laughs> set foot around here. There's too much garlic. Well, then I can peel some cloves for you that while you're great. doing. How many do you think you need? Mm, four. Yeah, that's probably good. Do that whole thing? Yeah. Okay. on the chicken. Oh yeah. Whew. All right. They look pretty good. Oh, looks like chicken. The good old tried and true check method. Let's grab a drumstick. Yeah, the entire thigh came off. So, <laughs> yeah, we're yeah. Gone. Yep. The best. Yep. All right, they're done. Let me uh, grab I guess a plate to put them on and I'll start cutting them up. Basically, all I have to do is just pull them apart. Have your nugget. It's going to be hot. So that was actually, it doesn't get much more summer meal than that. Uh, that was green beans that we just picked, that was squash that we just picked. Uh, the chimichurri was from our garden, uh, and the chicken was ours, and it was homemade French bread. Yep. That's awesome. All right, I think we are gonna leave it right here. Uh, I hope everybody, all of our American viewers, Hope you guys, since this video will go up, uh, probably the 4th, hope you guys are having or plan to have a great Independence Day. Um, to everybody else, it's just Tuesday. <laughs> Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. <laughs> I think that's going to do it for us, so we will catch you guys on the next one. Bye. So after getting that big old thunderstorm, now we get an epic sunset. That is a unique sunset. I'd uh, send a picture of that to my neighbor and be like, hey, your house looks nice, man. Look at the sunset. 
You know, perspective is everything. I bet you the, that the neighbors on the hill don't have the same view we do.